guys welcome to my channel technology and in this video i'm going to be unboxing the huawei y7 prime 2018 and the reason why i'm unboxing this device is because a lot of people were requesting to uh, provide a review uh, which is in the, the range of their budget now this device is a budget device of course it comes uh, in like 200 dollars 20,000 pkr and today we're going to unbox it up and see is it still you know according to its price or not and what are the pros and cons of it the complete review will be coming out soon on my channel this is the unboxing and setup so let's unbox it up and see what is ha what happens so i'm gonna just first of all remove this plastic then i'm gonna show you the details on the box let's open it i know i'm opening it very badly Okay, so, so I'm gonna just put this plastic aside. Inside you get this memory card which says that the warranty is going to start from 30 September. It is not started yet. And then let's have a look at the box. So on the back of the box we have this uh, Huawei full view display, uh, rear view camera, Android 8.0 plus MUI 8.0, 3GB RAM, 32GB ROM, and then some specifications. So, you know, very normal specifications, then we get free mobile internet. So, let me just put, uh, quickly get my cutter. You can see it comes with M and P warranty, official warranty. So, I'm just gonna put, open it up from over here. Then I'm gonna put over here. Hopefully, it is opened yep so as you can see inside we get this device now if you look at it from the front it looks like a normal huawei device but if you look at the back just look at it so i'm going to just put it aside then we first of all we're going to have a look at the specifications not the specifications accessories so in accessories you get a protector this is not glass protector this is just a normal protector then you get this sim ejector tool and you get this quick start guide and uh, then you get this cover which is very awesome you know huawei provides uh, covers with every single of their device i think every single budget device you can see this is not a thin glass uh, back cover this is a silicone cover but it is very thick nowadays thick uh, silicone covers are also coming which uh, you know get do not get yellow soon then we have a three leg adapter now i don't know about your country because a lot of countries are facing this issue that huawei is giving two leg uh, two leg adapter in some countries and three leg adapter in some countries now let me see if it is a fast charger or not so definitely uh, it seems like it is not a fast charger but you know it is a good charger so yeah then we have black hand freeze inside it let me just open them and show you guys what are the hand freeze like so you can see these are simple standard huawei black hand freeze that come up with a budget device and then we have this cable which is not type c it is a micro usb cable you can charge it with any device so i don't need to open it up okay so now let's move up this stuff and have a look at the device and open it up and show you guys some of the basic features of it then i'm going to give you a complete review on my channel soon a, a separate video will be for this let me just remove this protector and show you guys whoa let's speed off from the back to see the beauty wow look at that guys it is reflective a lot this is a reflective definitely and uh, you can see everything in it you can see now it gives you a shade of reddish if you see it, but it looks very good in personal in reality i'm gonna put this aside again there's a lot, lot of mess on my table because of the accessories i'm gonna put this aside now i'm gonna boot up and set up and see, sh show you guys it but before that i'm gonna show you the design so you can see on the top we have nothing there is nothing then over here we get uh, a volume broker and an unlocking button then on the bottom we have speakers micro usb charging port uh, headphone jack which is a good thing in 2018 
and then nothing else over here except from a sim and card slot now this one comes up with double sim and a card slot as well which is a good thing and on the back we get the, these two cameras this is 13 i guess and this is two then this is the flash and we have a micro uh, microphone over here as well this is the fingerprint scanner now it is very convenient to you know hold it and uh, unlock it from here rather than just going over here and uh, you know it gets a bit annoying let's turn it on and i have i'm gonna set it up so i'm gonna set it up and i'll be right back once i set it so i'm back and i have set it up and let's show you guys how it looks so let me just increase the brightness a bit so you can see okay so as you can see that i have finally set it up and it looks amazing with a 720p display but it is okay i have installed some applications in it as you can see and i have gone in depth and the depth review is also going to come soon and let's check out some basics of it like the camera but one con till now is that it gets a lot of fingerprints on the sides and the sides are also pretty reflective and as well as the back i believe it is made up of plastic but it looks like glass so guys what is the camera which is alive so i've got a cutter here or i can get anything else which is not dangerous so i have a protector case and i'm gonna see what is the result in the back camera now of course it does not have any portrait mode uh, it has beauty modes wide aperture mode and some other modes so let me just capture a photo real quick and show you guys what is the photo like now as you can see that there are definitely a lot of details in this photo and it is a good you know provided a good camera but um, it is not perfect as huawei's flagship devices of course there are some blurry uh, backgrounds and it is not blurring the background at all as it does not include any portrait mode or any bokeh mode in it but uh, of course for this price the camera is good then we have the fingerprint as well as we have facial recognition which I'm gonna try in my full review so make sure to watch it if you guys have, haven't because that video will be uploaded after this video so yeah okay so thank you so much guys for watching my review before I quit I just want to say that uh, it is running just confirm that it is running EMUI 8.0 let's do that okay so you can see we have 3 GB of RAM in it, Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 with the EMUI as well as Android version 8.0 and it is advanced. So thank you so much guys for watching, if you enjoyed, give a like and thumbs up, subscribe for more videos. This video was a little bit short because it was just an unboxing and a quick review. I will see you in my next video. Until then, take knowledge and peace out.